I'm joined today with Colby with Kansas Tourism and today we're talking about a fun one because next week is 4th of July. That came up really fast. It did and I keep just saying it's this weekend. I mean it's like basically this weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, because it's a lot Tuesday. of people do yes. celebrate on the weekend. So yes. what does Kansas have to offer? Because I'm sure people are uh. ready to eat and go to these events and celebrate. Yes. Yeah, there's so much going on here in Northeast Kansas. Of course, you can't talk 4th of July without mentioning Wamigo since mm -hmm. they are Boomtown. Yep. Um, their festival kicks off tomorrow, Friday, and it goes until July 4th, which is, you know, they, they claim and most people claim too that they have the best firework display in Kansas. I have heard that. Yes, yeah, so if you go to visitwamigo.com, you can check out the schedule of events because it's several days packed full of a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> um, also coming up July 3rd, Hoyt has their firework show if you're looking for that. Uh, July 4th is the Spirit of Kansas Festival at mm -hmm. Lake Shawnee. Um, if you want something besides fireworks to do, Miriam downtown does their Flags for Freedom. And so it's flags for just so many flags, like for all you can see, it's really, really cool. It's just one of those places you go and just kind of reflect and seeing the flags and the wind. I don't know how to describe it. It's just one of those places you yeah. have to go and see it. It's super, super cool. Bring the family, bring a lawn chair because yes. a lot of these fireworks, you know, maybe you don't want to sit on the grass. Yes, and as a parent, don't forget earmuffs for the little ones, oh, yeah, especially that's a big if one. this is, you know, it's been a year since maybe, like especially two, three-year-olds, you know, since they last saw fireworks. I always made sure I had earmuffs on hand because another wise parent told me so. <laughs> and they come in handy. And a lot of these events are free, right? Yes, absolutely, yes. Basically, all of these are free. Which is perfect because, you know, like you said, we have Spirit of Kansas, which is right here in Topeka, not too far. And then Wamigo, which is just... 30 minutes, maybe not even. Yes. And then there's plenty of other locations too if you want to have a little road trip for the weekend because some people yeah. are off next week too. So it's kind of an extended weekend to do lots of fun things. What yes. are some of your favorites? Um, oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. Honestly, I always love going to the Hoyt one because that's close to where I live and be able just to pull into the park, park the truck, mm -hmm. sit on the tailgate, hang out with yep. the kids. Uh, growing up, I always did Lake Shawnee. Like that was our family tradition. Um, I don't know. I think just the best part is being with friends and family. Of Every course. holiday brings its own vibes, and I feel like 4th of July is just one of those that I cherish, I look forward to every single year. So as long as I've had friends and family, I'm happy. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And where can people see a list of these events going on? Yeah, so if you go to TravelKS.com and go to our events tab, which is right at the top, you'll see so many events happening across Kansas pertaining to 4th of July. But then there are some other ones like live music or whatever going on as well. There you go. Perfect. Colby, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this.